Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Thug Life here, back at it again with another bomb video here for you today. This one is the workaround for the solo retro car duplication. All you're going to need for this glitch is an MOC, be either in an invite session or a friend session, and a ret an elegy in the back of your MOC. Okay, let's get started. All you're going to need also is another friend that's in a different targeting mode than you are. So, we're going to see, I just had the LG in my car, put the LG in my MOC. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drive it back out. I am in a friend session. You can also do this in an invite only session. You're going to take the car over to the back of your MOC. You're going to position it so that when you get out of the car, you, you land in the blue circle. Or close enough. Then as you're going to see here, you're going to make walk away, make sure the blue circle is still there. Right like that. All right. So now that we know the blue circle is still there with the car in place, I'm going to head back over to the car. I'm going to stand uh, somewhat where the blue circle is and then push myself up against the door. I find pushing yourself up against the door facing the car is the best method because it seems to always work. See, there you go. You see me reaching for the handle. As soon as you see the animation of me reaching for the handle, you're going to get a really long loading, black loading screen. So you want to find one of your friends that's in a GTA. I am in free aim, so I'm looking for somebody that's in assisted aim, which is mostly everybody else. So once you find the person, you're going to go to Xbox dashboard. You're going to find a friend. You're going to find hit join game. And it's probably going to take you a dozen or more times before it does anything. You're just going to keep hitting join game until it takes you right back to the black screen. That'll mean the details for the session will be coming up, as you see right now. You're going to accept the first alert. Then you're going to decline the second alert, right? Sometimes you'll get extra ones, as you see here on the screen. Then you're just going to make sure you walk away from the wall, that you're at least not facing the wall on your mini-map, right? Because if you are facing the wall on your mini-map, and you get outside and you try to request your MOC, it's going to say that it's unavailable or that it's full. The only thing you have to do to fix that is hop out the car, and while your interaction menu is up, you'll see that request MOC now is now white and all you gotta do is hop back in the car hit request moc and it's gonna uh teleport you to the docks okay as you're gonna see here i've now done that i did the lester job you can have a lesser setup as you've seen i have the lesser prison break set up as soon as you do that it's gonna take you right here you're gonna be invisible you want to have a car in the garage that your setup is going on that you want to uh, duplicate. I have a bunch of retros in this garage and a Mesa and a couple allergies. So you're just going to hop in one car. This one actually has a custom license plate on it. As you do see there, all you're going to do, you don't hit any other buttons. You're just going to get into the car and then hit the gas to go outside. If you hit any other button, you will get frozen. Then you're just going to request MOC. It's going to teleport you to the docks. And what I find best is become a SecuroServe associate and pay for pay for the buzzard once, but stay an associate the whole time you're doing the glitch. So that way, as you're going to see here, I request my MOC and then I request my buzzard so I can fly right back to my bunker and do this again, right? It's easier that way. I'd like to give a big shout out though in this video to Rune Tango, uh, Freight Train, What the Fudge, Dead Game and Live. Uh, Zazar909, It's Trance, Toe Venom, uh, yeah, lots of YouTubers out there. Check all these guys out, like and subscribe their videos. Uh, also check my own channel out as well. I'm just an up and coming YouTuber, just starting my channel. Um, the video is going to be way more than it should be for length, but I'm just, I'm not editing any of it out. Just so you guys can see that sometimes you do get it wrong from time to time. It's all about the way you position yourself by the car. The glitch is still working. Uh, it has not been passed. But all I do, I leave the car in my trailer. I request, I put my return my trailer to storage, right? And then when I get back to my bunker, I'm just gonna call my mechanic and request an elegy, drive that into my bunker, drive it to the back of the truck, replace it, and that'll send that retro to a garage where the elegy came from. See, look, I'm going to call for my buzzard. It's free, and it will. once you pay for the buzzard once, it'll stay free 
long as you stay in your Sekiro surf. So, why run, why walk? I don't have an oppressor on this account, so I can't use my oppressor to get there, you know, as I don't have one yet. But for all you new subscribers out there, please click that little link next to my name, uh, that bell, like and subscribe to videos. Um, always trying to put out videos about the content that is working, none of this click baiting, uh, this belief crap, you know, or any of those other guys, you know. Just trying to put out all the guys I mentioned earlier. Freight Train What the Fudge, Brune Tango, Toe Venom, uh, Dead Gaming Live, Thazar909, You Share Up the Gamer, uh, It's Trance. Um, there's so many YouTubers out there I could name. All of us are great YouTubers and we do not clickbait. We do not put out bullshit videos stating that this stuff works or like a robbery here, rob stores for $5,000. You know, those aren't glitches. That's just something people find out on their own, right? But please also be aware that the daily sell limit has now changed because it is now, you can sell eight cars and still in the run, seven to eight cars in the run of your 30 hour period. The only problem is now you can only sell one car every, I'd say I do one car every 35 minutes just to be safe, right? Just to be on the safe side. But. Anyways, it's you know, great getting out here. Happy, uh, what is it, Sunday, y'all. Um, get out on this glitch before it gets patched. It's still working as of right this moment when I'm about to upload this video. I've been doing it all day long. I find this is the easiest method for me. And yeah, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe to the other YouTubers I mentioned. Yeah, it's a great community. As long as we can get rid of the cancerous people that are just trying to clickbait people. Anyways, there's also a petition going around that Dead Game Live has put out. Please, for all you subscribers, please sign that petition. Please sign it, just so we don't have to deal with the people posting fake money videos, posting fake duplication videos. And yeah, so we don't have to worry about the big organizations and companies trying to, you know, walk all over us. Anyways, this is Thug Life. Um, I love you guys. You guys are the backbone of the community. Without you subscribers, there would be no YouTubers. You need something, huh? So, please Let smash that like button. Go visit the other line. YouTubers I talked about. Anyways, uh, Thug Life out. Peace, y'all, and have a great day. And until the next video, see you guys later. Peace.